Hey there guys, Loy Misido here. If you'd like to learn more about personal branding, the educational content, tips and tricks, strategies, all you got to do is go to YouTube on the top, type personal branding Loy Misido. I have over a hundred videos with regards to personal branding for free. No extra charges at all. So do it now if you want to know more. And at the same time, coming up next is another educational video with regards to personal branding. Enjoy. Hi there, Loy Macedo. Speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com. Who is Loy Macedo and think personal branding? The question is, Loy, what are the top five to do uh, their personal branding is concerned? The top five to do's for personal branding. So here they are. Number one, which is most important, get yourself a mentor. If you want to learn programming and you go to the world's best programmer, you want to be an MMA fighter and you go to the world's best MMA fighter, if you want to learn, uh, let's say, business coaching and you go to the guy who's earning seven-figure income, you will succeed far more than a guy who reads, just watches YouTube, reads books, and tries everything by himself blindly. Remember, experience eclipses self-learning any single day. And a quality, a quality mentor. So number one, get yourself a mentor. That's the most important. Number two is keep in mind, the most important thing for personal branding is it is a business. Commercialize it. When you're making money, when you're making money on your personal brand, when you're making money for your services, then you're a successful personal brand. Every single person I talk to, I take money, anything. It can be $5, $10, $20. Anyone wants my time. Even if a girl, you know, in Dubai, even if a girl said, you know, I just want to meet you for a cup of coffee, get to know you, you know, kind of gave me a sexual theme. I would still tell her $150 an hour if you want to meet me. Otherwise, no, because she wanted to meet me. I didn't want to meet her. So make sure it's commercial. Make sure your brand has value. I know it sounds like being a diva, but welcome to the world of money and expenses. Nothing is for free. Point number three is have a doable strategy. I speak to a lot of guys who say, oh, I want to be a personal brand. I want to be famous. I want to be rich. Okay. Then I ask him, what is the to-do list today? What is the to-do list for the next uh, two, three days? What is the to-do list for the next week? What is the uh, game plan for the next month? I ask him detail from three, uh, you know, one month, uh, three months, six months, one year. If you don't have a direction that I will go from point A to point B by the end of the year and you break it down, let's say, for example, I want to be a, um, I want to run 21 kilometers. That is a half marathon. And I want to do it by December, which is a very specific goal. Then I need to break it down. Okay. Uh, one month before, uh, one month before, uh, let's say December, November, I should be able to run 28 kilometers. So on the race day, I can run 21 easily. So six months before, I should be able to run 14 kilometers. Three months, I should be able to run seven. One month, I should be able to run at least three. So you break it down into goals. So if you're not able to meet the deadlines, when you break your goal down, how can you achieve it at the end? So have a doable strategy. Even my personal brand is concerned, remember, it's all about money. So ask yourself, end of the year, I want to achieve, let's say, a doable, doable. Don't say $100,000 if you're earning zero. Say, I want to earn... If you're earning zero, I want to at least achieve $100. $100 is my goal. So you start with, you know, $0. You find someone who will pay $1, then $5, then $10, then $20 for your service per hour. And that's how you grow. Okay. Point number four, you must be obsessed. I'll tell you something. I am so obsessed about my brand being. If you see all my photographs, it's me. If you see all my posts, hashtag Loy Macedo. If you see all my articles, Loy Macedo. If you see all the videos, Loy Macedo. Even I've told my wife, my work is more important than you and the baby. Why? Because it feeds the family. It feeds me. It's my passion. It's what us born. If you're not obsessed about your work, if you're not obsessed about whatever it is you're doing, you're never going to succeed. There are people who are obsessed about their game. There are people who are obsessed about gambling. There are people who are obsessed about drinking, smoking, whatever. And they go hardcore into it. You should be obsessed about personal branding. So that's point number four. And point number five, be genuine. Be yourself. Now, by be yourself also there's a caveat let's say for example now i'm a guy who you know loves dressing up casual i hate formals i hate formals i hate corporations like hi how are you it's so nice to meet you man it's so great and then behind your back they'll be like a oh, fucking asshole i hate that i hate corporations i hate office politics i hate fake people i like using a lot of bad words and say fuck you you know and you know, I, I if I see a girl with lovely tits, I oh check her ass out. You know, so I'm I'm that type of guy. You know, I'm this is just who I am. Many people, fuck, you know, Lloyd, 
you should be decent. You should. I'm sorry, that's not me. And I've stayed true to this. In fact, people were shocked when I admitted that I went to a, you know, to a sexual parlor, a massage parlor, and I freely admitted that. In fact, before I got married, I told my wife that I went to a prostitute and she was like, okay, but are you going to do that after marriage? I said, no, I'm telling you the truth. I'm, I'm not a saint. And she was really appreciative of the fact that I was honest. And that is why people love me because I'm genuine. However, however, if you're working for, let's say, MasterCard, Visa, uh, a Fortune 500 company, you can't, you know, say, I belong to the white supremacist or uh, I, I, you know, I love going to whores. You know, it doesn't work that way. So use common sense. But the main point which I'm trying to tell you is be genuine. Be who you are. Don't try to be fake. There are so many, and where personal branding is concerned is there are so many coaches who try to act, hi, how are you? They try to act perfect. They try to, I'm so happy. My life is so perfect. You know, don't do that. People can see through you. People are very intelligent. So if I were to summarize the top five doable, uh, that is, sorry, the top five to-do things in personal branding, top five. Number one, get yourself a mentor. Number two, remember it's a business. You need to make money. Others, there's no point in personal branding. Number three is have a doable strategy. Sit down with your mentor and talk a doable strategy. Number four, be fucking obsessed. Not obsessed, you'll not succeed. We are living in a doggy dog competitive world. And number five, please be yourself. But by being yourself, be smart what you reveal to the world and be intelligent about it. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And put your comments, I always read them. This is me signing off for now. Take care.